Busted budgets and broken promises. That's how one state senator describes California's high speed rail. Tomorrow, Senator Bob Huff will urge a committee to reject the latest business plan submitted to the state legislature. It includes a proposal to link the Silicon Valley to the Central Valley instead of linking Los Angeles to San Francisco. Well, we've seen animations of that project for years, but tonight, something new. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker shows us high speed rail is already happening in the Central Valley. What I would say is you've got to start somewhere and the Central Valley is a good place to start. This is true when you're launching the largest public infrastructure project in the United States you have to start somewhere and somewhere is the edge of downtown Fresno. In the Fresno area there's about eight to ten overcrossings that are being constructed to reroute roads over or under the high-speed rail alignment. About four miles away, Highway 99 is getting moved 100 feet to the west to make room for future tracks. And about half an hour to the north, just east of Madera, you'll see something that really does look like the makings of a train project. You know, it's kind of looking like there's pretty cool infrastructure going on out there where you've got the, the columns, you've got the piles in the ground, and now you're building this guideway that the train is going to run over. And there are now about half a dozen work sites along this stretch of the valley. The first in a long line of so called construction packages that will eventually be stitched together between San Francisco and Los Angeles. And so we'll have about 120 miles of construction underway here in the valley um, by the end of this year, 2016. But no matter how much the state digs in, the opposition isn't going away. I guess what you might call a slow motion train wreck. It's not going to, the only question at this point is how far do they go before they stop? Attorney Stuart Flashman went to court to stop high speed rail, but he's hardly an anti tax, anti infrastructure guy. In fact, he's a feel the burn kind of guy who believes in big public projects. I am, I am, and there's infrastructure and there's infrastructure. If you're going to have building infrastructure, it's got to be infrastructure that does something useful, not digging holes in the desert. Flashman thinks design and funding questions will overwhelm the project long before it's ever. Ever really finished because I wasn't quite sure where the hell we're going to get the rest of the money, but don't worry about it. This project is going to fail, and when it fails, everybody in California is going to be turned off to the idea of high speed and says, "Oh no, we tried that. That's a disaster. We're not going to do that." We needed a long, straight stretch so that we could start testing trains. As director of design and construction for high speed rail in California, Terry Ogle knows there are plenty of skeptics and unanswered questions, but he's also convinced that the state is on the right track. If you look at what's going on and what's happening and what will happen over the next two or three years, you're going to you're going to stand back and go, "Wow." The California High Speed Rail Authority was established in 1996. And 20 years later, we finally have something that exists as more than an idea, right? You can actually point to this and say, here comes high speed rail. Now, this leg of the project without any problems is set to roll in about the year 2029. So maybe it's best we call all of this the end of the beginning. In Madera County, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Well, the current estimated price tag for the project is now $64 billion.